upon one of those walkthroughs, uh, the realtor called my wife and was like, hey, somebody's in the house. And we're like, no, 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 no. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek, AKA Flipping the House. And if you're new here, we talk real estate, financial literacy, and just how to get better. And today is no different. I know it's been a while since I've done a vlog, but I felt like what better way than to introduce you guys to a squatter problem that I have right now. Uh, we had a guy break into one of our flips a couple weeks ago while it was listed on the market. It's been a whole ordeal. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may be aware of what's going on. But if not, I'm gonna fill you in today. But right now we're headed to Home Depot because we were able to get him out temporarily. So I gotta get the house boarded up. It's a whole ordeal. I'll fill you in later. Let me run in and get the supplies. All right, guys, so we made it to the property. Like I said, they were able to get the squatter out last night and I'll break down that whole situation. But let's take a look at how this man was living. So apparently this was a house that we bought from his family members. Somehow he got power on in this house. Like he's doing the most, guys. I mean, he's got a full bed in here. They've been grilling and playing spades and shit. I mean, like legit just living in my house, bro. Like just living in my house. This house was literally listed on the market. He had some lady in here with her kids. I mean, like, it's just wild, guys. And I'm sharing all this because this is the reality of real estate. So I got to figure out the dog situation really quick, and then I'm going to break down the deal and how we even got in this whole mess. All right, guys, so let's talk about how we even ended up in this situation. So this is a house that we bought almost five months ago now. And when I tell you guys this house has been a headache after headache after headache, there's been so many problems with this house. And this is just the cherry on top. So some of the problems that we have, it took forever for us to get the gas on. Uh, I hired a bad paint crew. They didn't do good. I had to bring in my original paint crew to finish their mistakes. Uh, we finally passed gas inspection the day before we went live. So they cut a bunch of holes in the drywall. Like it's just been one thing after another. And then we get the property listed. Uh, it's on the market for two weeks, guys, two weeks. And uh, we had two people that were interested in putting in offers. They were doing their second walkthroughs. Upon one of those walkthroughs, uh, the realtor called my wife and was like, hey, somebody's in the house. And we're like, no, 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 no. She's like, yeah, there's a guy here. He has a dog. Uh, I don't feel safe. He's making me leave. So I call the cops. I rush over here and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a clip of kind of what happened. Uh, if you guys follow me on TikTok or Instagram, if you're not, you should already, but here's a breakdown of what happened that day, right here. Got my handyman. So, this is what the DA told me to do. And I explained to her, I said, this guy's not willing to leave. Cause she's like, give him a trespass warning. I mean, the guy's willing to go to jail for burglary, right? He's not, he's not gonna care about criminal trespass. So she told me to tell you, or told me to give him a criminal trespass warning that he needs to leave. Now, as you guys can see, when the cops came, initially they showed up before I did. Now that's a big piece to the story because when they came, he presented them with an ID to the property that we had. Now I did find out later that he is a member of the family that we purchased the home from, but I didn't deal directly with them. I bought it from a wholesaler. And so they tried reaching out to him. He said he wasn't leaving. Um, the cops, as you guys saw in the video, they arrested him and then let him go. Because he had the ID in Texas, we have what is called squatters rights. And basically if somebody has been living at a home and it's vacant, they do have rights to the property and you then have to evict them. So that day, as you guys saw in the video, they let him go. They're like, you're going to have to take it to court. You're going to have to evict him. Now that was three weeks ago. Uh, we hired an attorney to take care of the eviction. We had court today and last night he basically messaged our Facebook page and said, looking forward to seeing you guys in court tomorrow, which was a red flag for me. Number one, I'm not going to court, but number two, why would you openly say that you're excited about court? And so I did some snooping on Facebook and over the last two weeks, 
basically he had been posting where he received the notice. Uh, he posted about basically he was going to blow up the courthouse. Um, I know it sounds crazy and dramatic, guys, but I have proof. <laughs> It's just like this whole situation is wild because we've dealt with squatters before, but never to the fact of like this, right? So court was canceled and they actually ended up picking him up around 2.30 last night. They took him to a psych ward, um, but they're only holding him for three or four days. The cops told me that I could come change the locks, that it would be best that I don't leave the house vacant. I have to figure out the situation with the dog. is to share with you guys the journey of me trying to build wealth with my family and these are the things that happen guys like if you're flipping a lot of houses like this house isn't in the best neighborhood it's not in the worst neighborhood it's definitely a gentrifying area but when you're dealing with crazy people um you know you just you you want to let the law handle it even though they didn't do their job and uh, basically they said it was a civil matter a lot of people in my comments of that video that i showed you guys said that i should have shot him we live in texas but it's like guys when you have a lot to lose you're not gonna put yourself in a situation right so i'm gonna let the law handle it i'm gonna you know get my attorney involved but yeah guys he broke in um I mean, I'll show you guys how he was living. I mean, it's not pretty, but I mean, the neighbor gave him furniture because she thought that he got the house back because that's what he told her. But she said he would be out here talking about like planes are coming to get him. Like he's just very off his rocker now. I mean, he's just doing heavy drugs or he was just schizophrenic because I've dealt with that in the past. But it's always something. So not only have I lost a whole nother month of holding costs, right? Because I still have this house. I still have to pay a mortgage on it. But now, I got my boy Francisco here and his pops. I gotta pay them to come figure out this problem. I have to trash out the house. I gotta get it recleaned. I gotta fix the damage that he did. So, you know, an additional three to $5,000. And I could file an insurance claim, right? But my deductible is $5,000. So it's like, these are constant struggles that you deal with when you're flipping houses or doing real estate. So how you can protect yourself, right? couple things that I found out through this process number one you can put no trespassing signs and you can file a no trespassing affidavit that should help if the cops decide to do their job because that's what this is all dependent on right if the cops decide to do their job everything works out it's a it's a burglary right it's a B and E breaking and entering he goes to jail but that's one thing you can do. You can file a trespassing affidavit. So if anybody trespasses on the property, you can then call the cops. Number two, you wanna hope and pray that the guy or person that broke into your house is not knowledgeable or you live in an area that, you know, supports these bullshit laws of squatters rights. Because I mean, like I told the cop, what if he broke into your house while you're here now? Are you gonna treat this the same? And of course, you know, he was like, no, no, you know, it, of course, cause it's your family. But when it affects somebody else, they, they, they don't wanna get involved, right? Cause they're avoiding a lawsuit. So shout out to HPD for that one. But um, make sure that they don't have any type of ID or anything. You can also, do a lease right so if you have one business you can lease it to the other so that there's a lease in place so if somebody does break in that's one other thing that you have to stand on and then the last and most important thing is get cameras for your properties in rough areas i'm gonna be honest with you guys i have never done this because most of the places that we flip are suburbs right like i would live there i feel safe i should have known with this being a turning area that something was going to happen do with all the other bad luck that we had but it's just the reality guys you just got to roll with the punches sometimes and we've had similar situations where we've gotten people out of properties and then they destroyed the home so on the plus side there wasn't too much damage done i'm hoping that we can get him out and keep him out um, but we'll see they're holding him for three to four days and then we have court i don't know how it works because he did make a bomb threat so i'll keep you guys updated but just another day in real estate all right so to show you guys what we did here in the front we added one of these metal screen doors it's just really hard to break into them and the whole idea is it's not going to stop him it's just to deter him right because i let all the neighbors know you know what was going on the situation at hand and so they're well aware i'm my trash out guy coming to get all his shit out today about to get my girl signed back in the front yard just get everything cleaned up and then show you guys the back we went ahead and added one back here as well and note the guy does have a dog there's a dog in the back here big ass pit bull we called spca so they're going to come take care of the dog 
and yeah, luckily all the windows already have you know burglar bars on them, so he can't really break in. Uh, which I'm glad I left them because I did think about removing them. He had all this weird stuff all over the house. He put crosses, if you guys can see, on all the lights. It's just crazy, guys. This is the reality of real estate investing. I know this video is kind of all over the place because that's how my day was. It got shifted around. I thought I was going to have a chill day. Once we found out he was out, I had to move quickly because I'm just trying to keep him out of the property till we go to court, which is in a couple of days. It was supposed to be today. But because he made a bomb threat, they canceled it. It's the whole thing, guys. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all have questions, comments, concerns, drop them in uh, the comments below. I'm happy to get back with you guys. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok just to get a better idea of my day-to-day -day when this stuff pops off. Until next time, peace.